Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Vangelis bringing you... Oh, it's not Transformers. Interesting. This is a review of the SH Fig Arts Common Rider series as it is thus far. Uh, there are three figures in the series with another three due out fairly soon, but uh, for now I thought I'd cover what I've got so far. Um, as you can see, this is Common Rider Ichigo! Master Rider 1 from the uh, Kamen Rider The Next and The First movies. A uh, fairly cool redesign of the retro 70s costumes, and uh, pretty badass looking. Lots of studs, lots of leather. Uh, before I go into the figure though, I thought I'd just take a quick look at the packaging, because it's kind of neat. Uh, there's no figure in there, but as you can see, I paid $1,610 for him, according to Canada Customs. Um, they have uh, fairly good glamour shots on the back of the toy because that is what Bandai is good at, making their toys look awesome, even if they're completely unposable. Uh, the other figure in the series was Kamen Rider V3, who was uh, the second original series, and uh, the figurehead of the second movie they made recently, Kamen Rider The Next. Simple style and heroic action. And then, of course, last but not least, the newer figure. Oh, I haven't even opened him yet. Look at that. Masked Rider 2. Common Rider Nigo. Um, now, some of you are thinking, what is SH Fig Arts? Well, what is SH Fig Arts? Aiming at coexistence of movability and ideal figure, the movable body technology is improved furthermore, which results to adept 35 movable joints for the whole body. It is a high quality action figure of about. 14 centimeters that successfully reproduces quote-unquote form, quote-unquote movability, and quote-unquote style in high dimensions. However, if you really want to know what uh, the SH Fig Arts figures are, I have a much easier way of explaining it to you. By the way, there's a bit more glamour there. Um, now, this story is pretty much works like a fairy tale. Um, let me explain. Once upon a time, a very lonely... So Chuck Henshin figure was walking around in the woods all by himself when along came a very lonely, completely alone, SIC figure. And they thought to themselves, hey, one of us is extremely durable but a little boring. The other one of us is extremely dynamic but anything but durable. What would happen if we had children? And then they... Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to tell my special version of the story anymore, but um... As far as I can tell, the SH Fig Arts basically take the Sochok Henshin style, which is uh, some die-cast armor parts and a fairly poseable body that adheres rather closely to the uh, show suit design, and mix that with the uh, lithe and dynamic look of the SIC Super Imaginative Chogokin line, which uses a little bit less metal, but uh, tends to go for extremely stylized designs, which are really lanky and organic, but unfortunately tend to fall apart very easily. Now, if you mix the two together, what you get is... SH Fig Arts. These figures are quite poseable, quite durable, quite organic, and overall the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Uh, Posability-wise, it's, um... Well... It's a badass, that's what it is, as you can see there. It's uh, got a ball-jointed head, uh, twice actually, once at the top of the neck and once at the bottom of the neck. He's got like double ball-jointed shoulders that can move around in any direction you want. He's got double-jointed elbows, he's got uh, double-jointed wrists, up and down or side to side. He's got multiple torso joints. So you can do this kind of dancing hula hoop stuff. He's got two joints in his hip, one that moves like a ball joint, the other one that twists along there. And by the way, uh, unlike SIC figures, instead of the joints breaking off or falling apart, this one, if you apply too much pressure, it pops out and then pops back in again. Double jointed knees, a twist at the top of the boot, an ankle joint in two directions, which is uh, metal down here, by the way, and a toe joint. So. These figures are really, really cool, and I'm hoping that this line continues on. Um, for now, it seems they've concentrated on the uh, the first and the next designs, because those are quite marketable. Uh, if you want to see them together, then I'll have to unbox good old Kamen Rider 2. The box is kind of interesting in that it has one of these Revoltex-style bands around the front, but it doesn't run around the entire back. You actually have to open this thing up 
around this, I guess, name tag? I'm not sure. It has a QR code on it, though, which is something Japan uses quite a bit that North America barely even understands exists. Uh, or Europe, for that matter, as far as I know. So you get all kinds of cool stuff, you know, no twist ties or anything, it's all just in this one nice package. You'll notice multiple ascots. I'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, now to show them all together... Prepare to face the righteous kick and chop of justice, shocker! As you can see, the three, uh, the first slash the next riders do look rather alike, but that's a hallmark of the classic rider designs. Um, V3, of course, stands out the most, um, and has the most completely unique parts, as far as I can tell, uh, including his uh, belt and his little uh, signal flare thing that he never uses in the films. Uh, he also has the double scarf on his back, whereas uh, these two, numbers one and two, have their traditional ascots. Uh, but as you can see, there are some differences. Number one has shoulder pads, and number two has this nice solid stripe down his body, because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a power-armored uh, grasshopper cyborg tracksuit. Um, of course, you'll, you'll probably notice they have different hands. They actually come with quite a bevy of hands, as you can see with the accessory piles down here. Um, popping the hands on and off is tremendously easy. They uh, are on ball joints, and they just come right off. And the ball joint is actually on its own swivel and, uh, and hinge, which assists with the posability even more. And sticking them back on, you just push them in. It's a little tricky because the, the thing moves around on its own, but uh, it feels pretty durable. And uh, to swap the ascots on one and two, it's really easy. You just pop the head off, uh, slip the ascot off, and slip the other one back on. Um, now, popping the heads off means you do get these really cool, like, standalone rider helmets. The problem is, they all have a scalp attached to the back, which uh, makes things a little less cool and a little bit more morbid. Um, overall, though, these are a, a really cool trio, and I hope this line continues, because uh, as it is, there are three figures planned for it in the near future. The uh, Shocker Rider from the movie series these guys are from, as well as the two uh, Hopper Hell Brothers from Kamen Rider Kabuto. Oh, and uh, something else really cool about these, they're in scale with a certain other line. A certain uh, familiar looking other line. Uh, which you may know as like Marvel Legends or the Iron Man movie toys or stuff like that. So that's pretty cool if you want to do some crossover stuff. Now I'm sure you'd like to see something a little more dynamic from these guys. Perhaps a classic pose to finish things off. So uh, let's say it all together now. Two! Well, I just felt the world get a little more epic. Anyway, this is Internet Personality Evangelist signing off for now. I hope that you've enjoyed this review. Um, if you're looking into these figures, check out uh, Hobby Link Japan. Uh, they tend to have a lot of them. If you're not really feeling these figures, that's fine. They're an acquired taste. It's a tokusatsu thing. But uh, I really would recommend them if you even have a passing interest in uh, tokusatsu or common writers in general. Um, actually, that would go the other way around, wouldn't it? Common writers or tokusatsu in general. Let's do an edit on that one later on. Subtitles. <laughs> And the badass trio is ready. Anyway, I'll see you all again later. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, eagerly anticipate my future Kamen Rider arrivals. Hopefully they'll be out in a couple months. The Hopper Hell Brothers and the Shocker Rider. In the meantime, I think it's, uh, it's time to finish this review off only one way that would be totally satisfactory and that would be of course to give it a right chop and then uh a right kick go Go, let's go. Kagayaku mashimi. Laida. Damp. Laida. Kick. Kamen Laida. Kamen Laida. 
Leider, leider.